Welcome back to Brass Tax. The Delhi High Court today pronounced a split verdict on a bunch of petitions challenging the exception to Article 375 of the IPC, which exempts forceful sexual intercourse by a man with his wife. High Court Judge Justice Shakhtar struck down the exception 2 of IPC for Section 375, essentially abolishing the protection given to the husband, while Justice Shankar objected and said that the exception needs to be upheld as it does not violate the Constitution. Therefore, now there's been no change in the current law. The matter now has been referred to a larger bench of the Supreme Court. The row over the Gyanbapi survey is all set to end tomorrow with the court uh, going to give a decision if the survey inside the mosque is in violation of the Places of Worship Act. A Varanasi local court is all set to deliver the judgment on Gyanbapi Mosque Management Committee's plea to change the court commissioner to conduct a videographic survey of the mosque adjacent to the Srinagar Gaudi Temple tomorrow at 12 noon. The videography has already been done in the country. Now, how do you understand the situation in कौन करेगा कमिश्नर वही रहेंगे कि बदला जाएगा ये निर्णय इसका कल निर्णय जो है आदेश आना है द कोर्ट इज ऑल सेट टू डिलीवर ऑन वेदर द ज्ञान वापी लॉक इज टू बी ओपन और ब्रोकन एंड बाय हुम हमने न्यायालय को स्पष्ट कहा है कि कल स्पष्ट कर दे कि काला तोला जाना है कि तोड़ा जाना है और कौन इस ताले को खोलेगा या तोड़ेगा प्रशासन की जिम्मेदारी तय की जाए Meanwhile, the Hindu groups have raised a fresh demand to get the Gyanwapi basement mosque investigated after some pictures emerged showing pictures of Hindu gods and emblems inside Gyanwapi compound. Another important arrest has been made in the Taliban Shaheen Bagh uh, drugs connection case. A Delhi-based dry fruits trader and importer, Rajinder Sharma, has been arrested from Chandni Chowk. According to the NCB, he reportedly had links with the Taliban. It's day 77 of the Ukraine-Russia war and Russian forces have carried out a deadly attack on a shopping mall as well as hotels in Odessa in the south. First responders rush in as massive flames erupt from a shopping mall in Odessa. A Ukrainian military official saying Russian hypersonic missiles targeting tourist infrastructure have completely destroyed the mall and significantly damaged two hotels. Now America's top spy is sending an urgent warning to Congress that the U.S. intelligence community believes Russian President Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine is likely to become more unpredictable and escalatory in the coming months. The current trend increases the likelihood that President Putin will turn to more drastic means, including imposing martial law, reorienting industrial production, or potentially escalatory military actions to free up the resources needed to achieve his objectives as the conflict drags on or if he perceives Russia is losing in Ukraine. Meanwhile, why is Odessa so important? It is the third largest Ukrainian city. It is also the largest port city uh, in the southern part of Ukraine, and that is absolutely critical. Major European trade routes, in fact, pass through Odessa. If Vladimir Putin and the Russian forces manage to capture uh, Odessa, it'll be a huge strategic win for Russia in the Black Sea because it would give direct access all the way from Russia through the Sea of Azov into Crimea and then eventually into the Black Sea. Meanwhile, Bilhwara in Rajasthan is encased in tension after a 22-year-old Hindu man was allegedly stabbed to uh, death by members of another community. The BJP, the BHP and the Hindu Jagran Manch have announced a bund across Bilhwara and internet services have also been suspended. An FIR has been registered in the case but now politics has broken out with the BJP's National President J.P. Nadda lashing out at State Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot for multiple clashes in Rajasthan. The Enforcement Directorate on Wednesday arrested Jharkhand Mining Secretary Pooja Singhal in a money laundering case. Singhal appeared before the ED for the second consecutive day in connection with this money laundering probe. It is linked to fraud in Manrega funds in Kunti district in Jharkhand as well as other charges. Now she's been taken into custody by the Enforcement Directorate under relevant sections of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will participate in the second global COVID virtual summit on the 12th of May at the invitation of US President Joe Biden. The summit intends to galvanize new actions to address the continuing challenges of COVID-19 pandemic as well as build a stronger global health security architecture. As per the Meteorological Department, Cyclone Asani has now moved eastwards and is now in Andhra Pradesh's Machli Patnam. The coastal parts of Andhra Pradesh are likely to have extremely heavy rainfall uh, through tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, red alert has also been issued. Meanwhile, yellow warnings have been issued in Odisha and Bengal. The ripple effects of the cyclone are expected to be over Goa as well. Uh, more than a dozen NDRF and SDRF teams have been deployed. A fire broke out in Patna's Vishveshwaraya Bhavan because of a short circuit. 
Uh, fire tenders rushed to the place and the fire was doused after a long operation. Many government department houses are in this particular complex. As Russia's war on Ukraine continues, some Ukrainians are still strapped inside their homes, with Kherson being the worst affected. Both nothing and everything has changed here. The front lines have barely moved on the road to the southern city of Kherson, the first Russia captured in the six weeks since we were last here. But instead, since then, almost everything in between has been torn up by shelling. Across the road is Valentina, alone. Shells always seem to just miss her. Overwhelmed, yet hauntingly eloquent. On the road out of here, the shrapnel rises fiercely above the warm fields. Meanwhile, Ukraine's bid to retake the Snake Island has been foiled by Russia. Russia is now claiming that as many as three Ukrainian naval boats have been destroyed. Three Ukrainian Sukhoi aircrafts, fighter jets, have also been brought down. Uh, in fact, Russia is claiming that as many as 29 uh, Ukrainian drones, four combat helicopters have also been uh, destroyed in the process by Russia. Russia is also claiming that uh, it has killed more than 50 Ukrainian soldiers in this Operation Snake Island. Uttar Pradesh government has removed the state DGP Mukul Goel for allegedly disobeying orders and disregarding government work. As the UP's top cop, Mr. Goel, has now been transferred and posted his DG civil security. The government says that he was transferred after finding that he was not taking interest in departmental work. ADG Law and Order Prashant Kumar will handle the additional charge of DGP until a new one is announced. A terrorist was killed today in an ongoing encounter between security forces and militants in Srinder Forest, uh, this is in North Kashmir, in Bandipura. The official said that the identification and affiliation of the militant is being ascertained, while the operation in the area is currently on. After a period of almost three decades, one of the most uh, successful commercial relationships in sport is over. Negotiations between Electronic Arts and FIFA ended without an agreement to extend a partnership that had created wildly popular FIFA video games. After next summer, video game players will have to get used to a new game called uh, EA Sports FC. But the good news is that the game itself will not change much. That's a wrap. Mario Shakil joining you in just a moment. CNN News 18 beats Times Now to become the number one English general news channel. News beats noise. CNN News 18 on your side.